Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had to do something really hard that you didn't think you could do? Like, did you go to a brand new school where you didn't know anybody? Or have you ever had to forgive someone who really hurt your feelings real bad? Or did you try out for a team or, or a sport and you were really nervous? We have to do really difficult things sometimes that we don't know if we're going to be able to do. But God is here to help us. We're going to hear in today's gospel how Jesus asked his disciples to do something they didn't think they could do. Let's listen to what Jesus did for them. Wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stand up for the good news of Jesus Christ. Sing with me. Halle, halle, halle. Glory to you, O Lord. May the word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus crossed Lake Galilee to go to some place where he could be alone. But the crowds found out and followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus got out of the boat, he saw the large crowd. He felt sorry for them and healed everyone who was sick. That evening, the disciples came to Jesus and said, This place is like a desert, and it is already late. Let the crowds leave, so that they can go to the villages and buy some food. Jesus replied, They don't have to leave. Why don't you give them something to eat? But they said, We have only five small loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus asked his disciples to bring the food to him. And he told the crowd to sit down on the grass. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish. He looked up toward heaven and blessed the food. Then he broke the bread and handed it to his disciples, and they gave it to the people. After everyone had eaten all they wanted, Jesus' disciples picked up twelve large baskets of leftovers. There were about five thousand men who ate, not counting the women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what I want to do right now? I want us to jump into this Gospel story. Like we're going back in time 2,000 years, so we're right there with Jesus and the crowd of 5,000. Ready? Okay, get up on a chair or a couch if your parents say it's okay, and we're going to jump. One, two, three. <gasps> Whoa! Look all around you. We're on a mountaintop and there's thousands of people all around us and it's getting late in the day but it's still hot and you're tired. You've been helping Jesus all day and it was such a long boat ride and you feel that? You're hungry. Yeah, and everyone else around you is hungry and you say, Jesus, let's take a break. Send everybody away. They gotta go eat. And he says, no, you feed them. And you look around and you see someone with two fish and then someone hands you a basket with five measly loaves of bread. And you're like, Jesus, you've gotta be crazy. There's over 5,000 people here, but this isn't gonna do anything. And he says, give it to me. He breaks the bread and hands it to you and then you hand it out. And you think, well, this is ridiculous. I mean, I can hand the food out to people. Here you go, Martha. Oh, Mary, you want a loaf of bread? Yeah, there's only five of them. This isn't going to last too long. Hey, John, think fast. You, are you hungry? Have some bread. Oh, well, there's five. Wait, wait a second. And you look and you see you've still got five loaves of bread. This is working. Jesus told you to do it. You didn't know how you could do it. It's, it's like a miracle. It is a miracle. And so you keep, you keep handing out the bread and you keep giving it to different people and, and yet you still have more. And you keep giving it to everyone and everyone is so full, they say, I can't have any more. I'm stuffed. Jesus performed a miracle that day, but he didn't stop 2,000 years ago. He's still performing miracles, even just little ones, day by day, 
because he tells us to do things sometimes that are hard, like to love people who are mean to us, to treat everybody like they are our brothers or sisters in him. But Jesus helps us do it. And you know one of the biggest ways he helps us? Not with ordinary bread, but he is the bread from heaven. And I'm talking about the Eucharist. If you can see back there, Jesus is right in that tabernacle. At every Sunday Mass, he allows the priest to change that bread into his body and that wine into his blood so that he can feed us with what we need. That's a miracle, and it happens every Sunday at Mass. And then it helps us do the hard things. Jesus wants you to help him feed people and heal people and love people. And he's going to give us what we need to do it. So if we can trust in Jesus and just do what he says and come to the Eucharist and pray and listen to the Bible, he's going to fill us with everything we need to do it. So I want you to talk to your parents or grandparents or godparents this week and think about what are some hard things that you have to do that Jesus is going to help you with. And guess what? A miracle may just happen. Okay, find a partner. You know the routine. Point to your heart and say, God lives in me. Point to your partner's heart and say, God lives in you. Wiggle your fingers and say, the Holy Spirit moves in me. Wiggle your fingers in front of your partner's face and say, the Holy Spirit moves in you. Take your partner's hands and say, we are God's people. Point out and say, let's go spread the good news. Let's let God make a miracle happen through us because he can do it. God bless. See you next week.